Ladies and gentlemen, before we start the video, I'd like to thank you all for 400,000 subscribers. I am beyond grateful for all the support over the last few years, and I kid you not that you've literally changed my life. I would like to raise a toast to all of you for supporting me, for leaving the kind messages behind, support on social media, dropping those likes from new to old subscribers, to all the members, just viewers dropping by the channel every now and then as well. You guys are all the best. Now enough for this happy mumbo jumbo nonsense. There is a full lobby of cops out there waiting to chase us down and we got no more time to waste. Today I am joined by Brad aka The Red Sparrow. If you haven't seen his channel yet, go check it out when you're done watching this video. He makes some amazing and unique uh, aviation content in GTA and also is branching out to different games soon. So I'll leave a link down below. But now, the time. The time is 1300. The alarms in the Pacific Standard Bank are screaming. The heinous crime I hear you ask? What if I told you two crooks walked into the bank, asked for the manager, and pulled down their pants all the way and helicoptered to show their dominance? And so, the biggest manhunt Los Santos has ever seen was on the way. We rushed out of the bank. It was time to acquire a vehicle and get the hell out of town ASAP. Me and Brad have to reach it to the far south at either LSIA, the docks or terminal and call in the extract, but the shadow of the helicopter crept over us. God damn it, we have to get out of here ASAP. Jump in, I yelled. No, no, okay, okay, how do I get in? F? F, there right, go. got you. All right. Yes. Okay, before we go on, quick disclaimer, Brad has never ever played GTA Online on PC. To top things off, he's actually never played a third person shooter on PC before. But to be fair, I felt I was not a master, and he was the part I won. We rushed away. A quick right. Another quick right. Nice. I thought this was an alley, but I totally Austin powered myself. But by some miracle, this maneuver actually shook the helicopter. Just to make sure, we moved forward into another alley to dump the car out of sight and then well then we were in the clear we headed straight to the far east normally these parts are pretty quiet if we keep heading this way we should be able to make it to either terminal or the docks with pretty great ease oh my god and just that's like changed that. my life that's changed my life we're going to get the epic victory royale now now i don't know about you but i'm feeling so goddamn good right now the sun is out, I'm in a beautiful car, and let me tell you, this is how I love my cars. Unviolated, unscratched, the paint job in pristine condition. The sun rays bouncing off this beautiful car. It couldn't happen if there was a scratch on it. Oh, my day is ruined, but I will have my vengeance, and it was coming sooner than you would expect, for we were not even one traffic light over and the paint job terrorist was on his way back. My anger brewing, my blood boiling, my butthole mm, clang, and just like that it all came out and I riddled the paint job terrorist. Balance has been restored to the force via brutal manslaughter. Anyway, we headed towards the city, when suddenly... Okay, someone died. There's definitely a little uh, cheeky motorcycle accident there. Eh? Yes, this was clearly a motorcycle accident, and they seem to happen quite a bit. Of course, you would say this is a good thing for us. I mean, it's one less cop to deal with. But let me tell you, that motorcycle accident will cause us more problems than you can possibly, possibly imagine. Just a few moments later. We swapped cars to a beautiful matte black 9F. Speedy, slightly undercover, not too rare. It's perfect. But then... I can hear sirens. Sirens? Sirens in the distance. I mean, but why? What has happened? The cop we took out was on the other side of the damn city. There's not supposed to be this much police activity around here at all. And when we turned a corner... That was a police. That was one. That was one there. Oh my god, there's so many. Oh my god. God damn it. Not again. This spot surely seems to be cursed for its two episodes now. Back to back that there's a gazillion cops right here. So to explain what happened. A cop had died in a motorcycle accident and meanwhile we killed a cop somewhere else completely. Now the entire police force had thought that this was the guy that we shot and so yeah. The entire police force was on high alert in this area. And I mean, 
Yeah, they were all here. We've got a lot of cover in front of the cars. We should be all right. Now, this is the second time we are in this exact pickle. Hell, I'd argue this is even worse because everyone is actually looking for us. And with this many cops around, it's only a matter of time before we get spotted. The barricades lifted. The lights turn in green. It is now or never. Still a red light. Still a red light. Oh, 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 oh. Holy shit. Did we just get away with that? Uh, ooh, it was the sprung gas. Oh, hang on. Sign. It was. It was. <laughs> there is still a police car behind okay, us, they, they, by they the way. Us, they made us. They made us. That guy made they us. Made us. Oh, that guy made us. Fuck. Go, 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 go. This is it. A million cops all over the place. We are now being hunted down by the entire LSPD. It can never go easy, can it? And just like that, we floored it. But we were heading towards LSIA. There is simply no getting away from them there. But then, a plan. Oh, watch this. Are you ready? Are you ready? I'm ready. Oh my god! Oh, sweet Jesus! <laughs> oh, look, look at that guy behind us! Please! Please! Yes, let's go, let's go, let's go. And we landed clean on the bridge as GTA Man was now in low orbit circling the planet. Ladies and gentlemen, we aren't in the clear just yet. They know where we are heading, it's just a damn straight road. The helicopter is on us, the cops are inching closer again. God damn it, we have to get off this bridge. Maybe we can hide away on the island in one of the warehouses, but the helicopters, we couldn't shake him. We went inside of the warehouse, but then, cop car. This is going to be over very soon. There might only be one final dash left in hopes to prolong our inevitable demise, but the situation was more tired than we even imagined. Everyone was here. There is no getting away. And then... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. The camouflage. The camouflage. Oh, maybe not. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I swear to all the gods, old and the new, this is not scripted. I mean, a cop came right for us. You saw it. We saw it. I jumped out of my car. How on God's green earth did he not see us? Oh my God. Did we get away with that? Did we actually get away with that? I don't know. I don't know, but I'm scared. So I'm scared. This is... What? How did they not see us do that? But this... This did not make the pickle we were in any smaller. I mean, the pickle is the size of my GTA Alliance character's nose. We got nothing but a bunch of containers to protect us. And to make things worse, a copper just popping in to say hello. I quickly took him out, just in case he saw something. And just like that, we had to go again. The gunshots are heard by the cops. They will find a body soon. We headed east towards Merryweather Docks. Cops above, cops on the left, cops on the right. We dove into the water, but as we surfaced and wanted to get up on the other side a police helicopter right above us and it was there on the docks that we indeed tried to make a final stand right here right then but it was to no avail and after a short firefight we met our demise Ooh, round two. The time. The time is 1300. The alarms in the Pacific Standard Bank are screaming. The heinous crime, I hear you ask? What if I told you two crooks ran into the bank, asked for the manager, and slept on a Karen wig just to ruin everyone's day in the bank? And so... The biggest man on Los Santos has ever seen was on the way. We rushed out of the bank once again, and we got into this glorious muscle car. Ladies and gentlemen, you know... And I'm just absolutely loving this right now. At the start of a round, a fresh car. A perfect, unscratched paint job. Yes, I can't stress enough how much I love myself. A glorious paint job. I think applying paint jobs on automobiles could be a sacred profession. One that... Ah! Oh, ah! Oh, what the fuck? Oh, on my screen you just crashed into the back of us then. God damn it! You know what, me and Brad just about had it with everyone in here. The vile disrespect of the entire police force always bashing up our glorious automobiles. We headed to the west coast, to the beachfront, for it was high time to cool down and get a sweet, juicy sprung stop. I want to make a video of top 10 best sprung stops. Yes, do it. And look at this one, like this one right here. Did you know that was there? <gasps> oh, my oh my god, oh my god. Look at that. Go on, you first, you're the man, there we go. Take it. Good for the health too, you know? Like, oh, full, yes. full health. Does your nose get bigger every time you have one? It does. But while we were frolicking around at the beach, the cops called in the UAV. They knew our exact location for about 30 seconds straight. It was high time to get the hell out of here. And after a short run, we saw a car in the distance. But 
Damn it, we have been spotted. We opened fire, broke line of sight, and made a mad dash to the red sports car. The situation grows more dire with each and every passing second. Man, one second you are enjoying a fine sprung on the beach, and the next one you are running away from the entire LSPD. We lost a cop that spotted us, and we tried blending in, but then... There's another one! There's another one. Should I do the shooty thing? You know where I shoot and all the NPCs go crazy? Shit. Oh, fuck. Spotted again. We hauled ass towards the LS River. I'm yeah. feeling lucky. I'm feeling uh, lucky. Uh, Watch this. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, let's just go this <laughs> way. That go? Oh, next time you say you're feeling lucky, Sonny, I'm, I'm, I'm going <laughs> to ask you think first. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Into the Ellis River we dove, and with one quick and slick maneuver. Oh, oh my this God. is perfect. This is perfect this parking. Is just, Look this at is, this. This is just Look amazing. This. Let's just, let's just ditch this car and just go over here. <laughs> you know what? At least they'll have the same issue, so. My day is double ruined. A cop made our location and called it in. We tried to run like madmen, but we have to take him out. I got you. I got you back. Oh, thank you. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> for leave. life. Wait, what? What? What is this? Oh. Wait, can we get up the ladder? Yes, ladder! Ladders are always good. A moment of peace and quiet. We managed to get inside the junkyard, but the silence did not last long. We tried to get to the main street, but another cop had spotted us, and now the police force knew we were inside the junkyard. This is a straight-up death sentence. We couldn't go back the way we came in. We can't go out of the front gate. We have to get inside and find another way out. There were cops all around us now. Right, we could just we could just yeet it right. Go through yeah. here and yeet it right. Yeah, yeah, go, uh, uh, go, 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 go. GDA man himself was patrolling the scrapyard, but we saw we saw a way out. It'll be dangerous, but if we make it, we are clear. And so we jumped over the fence, but more cops showed up, and we were again spotted. He has to go as well, but we took too long. He called it in. He knew our exact location, but his life got ended. We made a mad dash to the vehicle parking lot behind us, but then... Shit! On left? Oh, 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 fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck, oh, fuck! Got him. This place is too hot. With the helicopter circling the area, we can't stay in this vehicle for too long. We stand out like a sore thumb. There's barely any cars driving here. We race to the highway. We dumped a car. We dove off the side of the highway and did a very planned tactical dive so the cops wouldn't see me. Ah! Uh, oh! <laughs> tactical dive. <laughs> yes. There we go. Br quick breather. Quick breather. Look at this. Look at this. Camouflage. Wouldn't <sighs> even know. Man. Right. I was not even close. I don't know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> How did we make that? I don't what's, know. What, what, what's the next move? What's the next move? This way. This car's down here. This car's down here. Yeah, yeah. Shit. Oh. Okay. Um. He didn't see nothing. Yeah, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. How did he not see us? I don't know. I don't know what's happening anymore. I'm just like, are we invisible? What, uh, what's happening? Yes. It was the sprunk, mate. God only knows how we keep getting away with all of this. I mean, the cops whiz by us left, right, and center. But for whatever reason, the cops are constantly looking in all the wrong places. It's kind of like they don't want to catch us at times. And to be honest, all of this is just an all-round tragedy for the LSPD. And after all of this and what happened in the previous round, we believe that we earned that sweet, epic victory royale. We drove over to Lester's docks and after a quick wander, a quick gander, picked a spot to settle in. And the cops, they were indeed unable to find us. We extracted, we got the epic victory royale. Well, unable to find, unable, incapable, incompetent, one of those, maybe all of those at once, who knows at this point, I'm so confused. Yes, we did obtain the elusive victory royale, but I want to cry and laugh at the same time. It was just an all-round tragic day for the entire LSPD. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you all for watching this episode, and if you want more, be sure to check out the playlist, which contains all the Cops and Crooks episode. Make sure to check out Brad's video on the event as well, and his channel in general, and lastly, make sure you pop by GTA Man's stream if you don't want to join in all the fun and get involved. You know, with that all being said, that I'm going to have to bid you all farewell, and of course, auf Wiedersehen.